So here's a model that I imported. It was a step file. I just want to show that the unwrap feature will work on really any geometry. It doesn't have to be inventor native geometry. So I'm going to start with something you know kind of simple here. We've got this this feature. We can see it's got a hole in it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do an unwrap. I'm just going to pick that face, and we can see that it's, it's creating that that unwrapped or undeveloped surface for me. Now what I could do is I could say, you know, position at origin, which is the last option I used. But I turn that off, what it does is positions in the model, and then I can use the manipulator to locate this where I want. So notice that I can click and drag to locate it. I can also use the arrows to rotate it. So I can get this kind of positioned, you know, what makes sense within this model. Now obviously when I go to create a drawing view of it, you know, I can rotate or adjust the view as, as needed. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click OK and what we're going to see is that it created the surface for me and also notice that it automatically generated a view rep. So I'd be able to use this view rep now to generate a drawing view. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to generate a new view of this model and we'll do it from the front. But what I want is I just want to use that view rep because that's the only you know obviously the only view of of the model that i want so i'm going to click ok and what it's done now is generated that view for me now additional to that is that i can just right click on the feature and notice that it's got the save copy as built right into it so with the save copy as what i'm able to do is i'm able to save this out to dwg or dxf if i wanted to go and get this you know cut or to a SAT file if I wanted to, to share it. So it actually behaves just like a, uh, the sheet metal flat pattern or any really any face in the model. Okay, now let's return to the model. And what I want to do now is, is I want to do something that contains multiple faces. So what it does have is it does have the auto face chain option. Now by doing that, in this instance, it's going to pick the entire model, which is not what I want. I also wanted to point out that from the drop down here from the menu, notice that the create dedicated view rep is turned on. So that's why I got that that isolated view rep created automatically because I have the option enabled. So in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick the view and let's just position this one at the origin. So what it does is it actually creates a heat map. So it's showing me where you know the amount of tension is from flattening that out is is located in that model. And I can continue picking faces. So I'm able to pick continuous faces. And we can see that the heat map is adjusting as I pick those additional features. So it gets to a point where you know maybe I pick too many faces, maybe this isn't you know necessary the results I want. So I can hold down the shift and I can deselect faces as well. Okay, so, so again I'm ready to click OK, but notice that I've got the merge results turned on. So with merge result, what I'm going to get is I'm going to get one surface, one face really, as opposed to multiple. So even though I've selected multiple faces in the model, it's going to generate the one output. Now I've selected ridge, rigid result. And the difference between rigid result and linear result is linear keeps an edge straight. Whereas rigid keeps it in the exact location. So maybe I've got two holes in my, in my faces that I'm, you know, unwrapping and I want those to stay in the same position I can use that to make sure that that edge remains fixed so now we can see that it's you know it's changed that heat map and changed the location um, to make sure that 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 selected edge is going to remain rigid so I'm going to click OK and we can see now it's generated that surface for me now to use the linear one to show show this one I'm also going to I'm going to create another unwrap then I'm going to select again a series of faces here now what I can see is that by doing that we can see that that you know I can keep picking edges and it's going to start generating the unwrapped surface for me I'm just going to pick the top fillet along this embossed feature this pocket and if we go and take a look at what it's got for the model right now I can see that this slot this slot like feature is you know you can see it's it's not quite those edges aren't quite straight so this is an example where I could use the linear result and I could use the linear result to pick the edge that I want to remain straight or edges in this case let's just pick the one just so we can see what the results are going to be 
And by doing that, what I can see now is that I'm getting a linear or a straight edge in that feature for me. So now that I'm happy with the faces that I've selected, I'm going to click OK, and we can see now that it's going to generate that surface for me. Now notice the, the view reps were created. And at any time, like I mentioned before, is I can edit that feature. And by doing so, it allows me to see the heat map, but also allows me to make changes. So the position of it, I can also come in here and add or remove edges. So maybe what I'd like to do is I'd like to add a couple more faces to it. So what I can do is I can just keep picking. And we can see now that it's automatically added those. So I'll click OK and we're going to see our faces, faces selected. So again, with the Unwrap, it doesn't have to be native in Venture Geometry. You can bring geometry in from anywhere. You know, AutoCAD models, SolidWorks models, step files, and, and use it to unwrap. The Unwrap works the best if you create view reps because then you can use those view reps to both isolate that surface within the model, but also use it to generate drawing views. And don't forget that you can right click on the feature and you can actually pump that out to an AutoCAD drawing or a DXF file when needed. So that's the new Unwrap feature within Inventor 2020.